Hello, my name is Nani and welcome to my channel where I share with you my top tips on how to look good, feel good, and smell good from the inside out. In today's video, we are doing another exclusive fragrance review and this is going to be on YSL's Manifesto L'Eclat. And so this is one of the flankers that they have. They have several flankers. So of course, if you guys wanna hear my thoughts on this specific fragrance, what it smells like, how it performs, and if it's one that I would recommend, of course, make sure that you guys stay tuned. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel for more. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, so jumping right into it. First off, I just wanna say that I actually really love the packaging. I feel like this is so cute. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel like just the color of the juice, the gold cap, I just feel like it's very feminine and just really aesthetically pleasing. But of course, let's go into the scent itself. Now this fragrance is one of the flankers from the Manifesto line. This one I do find to be a little bit more on the sweeter side. So this is sweet, but it's not cloying. Um, it does have some floral notes in here, but it's not like a vintage floral type of smell. It's very soft, it's feminine and very approachable. And it's definitely one that I feel like would be a signature scent for someone. It can be worn year round from daytime to nighttime. And it's one that definitely fits any and all circumstances. So this is an all around great signature type scent if you are someone that wants a signature scent year round. Um, what I will say though is that it is more of a linear scent because it does stay pretty much the same across the whole time that it's on your skin. And the most prominent notes, which I love, are the black currant notes, vanilla, and the cashmere wood, which those three notes are everything to me in the opening when you first spray this it is a bit sweet not overly done or anything like that and it does smell a little bit herbal because of the green tea note that's at the top and there's of course the black currant or the currant buds in the top as well so there's a little bit of a tartness to this fragrance but it smells just gorgeous i feel like the blend of all of that mixed together just smells absolutely beautiful and feminine and it's still a very soft type of opening this one does sit like I mentioned, pretty close to the skin, so it's not a huge uh, projection or sillage, but I feel like that's what makes it a perfect signature type scent. You don't wanna go into any and all settings just kind of like your scent speaking for you in a harsh or abrasive type of way. This is just like a very soft feminine scent, but it's still very powerful at the same time. It's beautiful for like up close and personal type situations as well. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily sexy, but it's an attractive scent and it's one that will definitely garner you a lot of compliments if you wear it on a date or just on a day-to-day -day basis. It's one that people are gonna be like, wow, you smell really nice. It's one of those type of fragrances. Um, as I mentioned, it does sit pretty closely to the skin and the longevity isn't really the best, you're probably gonna get maybe five, six hours of wear on this fragrance, especially on your skin. But if you spray it and overspray it on your clothes, you may get like seven hours or something like that. But it's a pretty everyday, year round, signature type scent. It's not going to be one that I would call the most unique thing I've ever smelled, but it's very pleasant. It's a compliment getter. And it's also definitely one of those scents that you just wanna continue to smell it. And once you get a whiff of it, when you like walk by, a lot of people are gonna kind of think to themselves, if they don't say it out loud, they're gonna think to themselves, wow, she actually smells really nice. Now, although this is a scent that can be worn year round, this is definitely one that I feel like would thrive beautifully during the springtime. So if you guys don't currently own this, you definitely have to check it out because it is gorgeous. It's floral, it's a little bit fruity, it has a tartness to it, but it's not overly done in any way. It's a beautiful, soft, feminine, just really pretty type scent. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more softer than the original, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more gentle, very feminine, but still a very pleasant everyday scent, definitely make sure that you guys try this out. I will make sure to leave a link down in the description box below. This is gold. So again, those are going to be my final thoughts on this YSL Manifesto L'Eclat. If you guys enjoy this type of content, of course, make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel for more. I hope you guys are staying safe. God willing, I'll see you guys next time.